North Korea may have staged a military parade. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff detected signs the regime held what would be the second such event since October. Kim Jong zooms in on the developments. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said on Monday it has detected signs indicating that North Korea had carried out a military parade in Pyongyang related to the North's 8th Congress of the Workers' Party. The South Korean military detected signs late Sunday that North Korea had carried out a military parade at Kim Il-sung Square related to the Workers' Party Congress. The South Korean military, with the cooperation of the U.S., is closely monitoring the North, including the possibility that the activity could be a rehearsal. The Joint Chiefs did not disclose more about the recent parade, but analysts think it might have been smaller than last year's, which also took place late at night to mark the 75th anniversary of the founding of its ruling Workers' Party. Satellite imagery released by U.S. monitoring website 38 North earlier this month showed some 9,000 troops training for a parade at the meeting parade training ground in Pyongyang. The volume had shrunk by 2,000 since the last time it had been observed in late December. North Korea is trying to strengthen consolidation of the Kim Jong-un regime, which is in its 10th year. If the latest parade shows intercontinental ballistic missiles, it's aimed at sending the U.S. a message that it could reach the U.S. mainland. Last October, the North had displayed its new ICBM dubbed by experts as the Hwasong-16, which was at least two meters longer than previous ICBMs at 23 or 24 meters and is capable of carrying multiple warheads. North Korea also unveiled four of its new strategic weapons, including its new submarine-launched ballistic missile, the Pukuksung-4, a series of super-large multiple rocket launchers, the North's version of U.S. Army's surface-to-surface -surface missile system, Adakims, and the North's version of Russia's standard-class ballistic missile. Kim Jian, Arirang News.